Hey guys, how's it going? And yes, the title is right. This is a P-Ponic system. For you, Lord, I'll go for green living. All right, well, I'd like to introduce y'all to my first P-Ponic system. Uh, it's the next step of a, my experimentation. You know how I am. I got to try out things. And this system is actually ran on urine. And it's human urine, so don't be too grossed out. <laughs> I know you might think, boy, I can't eat the vegetables that come out of there. But actually what happens is, and let me explain this to you a little better. Uh, when fish breathe, they secrete ammonia. It, and when they pee, it's ammonia, right? So that's what we're duplicating. Now, when they, when they let that ammonia go, then... The bacteria that lives on the rocks and the sides of your tank and all that, they eat that ammonia. It's a, it's a nitrite, and it just went through a flush cycle. That's what the noise you hear. And the, the bacteria eats it and turns it into a nitrate, which the plants love. You know, it's just like giving miracle grow to your plants. So that's why aquaponics works good. So when you use in urine, uh, it's the ammonia that you need and the bacteria still grows and eats that ammonia and turns that into a nitrite for your plants. So you're not actually getting urine in your plants, you're actually getting the, the uh, bacteria that, that lives on the, on the plants. Uh, it's, it's eating, I mean lives on the rocks and the sides, it's eating the ammonia and everything so it's not actually touching your plant. <laughs> so, but anyway, and in here, this in this system, y'all saw me make this barrel, and in the aquaponics on the budget, I'll try to put a link right up here. Uh, I was making the barrel ponics, and you know the single barrel ponics. But I have a strawberry, a cranberry, a stevia, three different kinds of sweet potatoes because I like to uh, put sweet potatoes everywhere because we are big sweet potato fans. I have my favorite bean, which is asparagus bean. Uh, I'll show you one of those real quick. Uh, I have uh, the mountain mint, near the mountain mint with the purple flowers. I have a cutting in there of this. Uh, I have this large uh, red kale that's growing in here. And you can see that I'm actually left the dirt in here because, uh, you know, you don't, you can have dirt in here. You know, it's not going to be that big a deal, you know, as long as it's, you know, it's, you're not washing it out every time. And this comes from the bottom, it seeps up and acts like a wiki system. You know, if you check out my videos about the uh, hookah culture pots, then you'll see the wicking system comes from the bottom. The water in here will raise up from the bottom and water and fertilize the plants for us. I have mint that doesn't even have any pot or dirt or anything. It's just kind of going crazy, doing what it's own, what it does. I have a red banana. It's actually the dwarf red Cavendish bananas, and they are awesome to eat. And these are babies that I put in here. There's several babies in there, uh, which I'm going to let them winterize in here. And then next year, I hopefully I got the big system going, and we'll do it in there. But the reason I'm growing this, the reason I'm trying this, oh, I also have a umbrella grass in here, and the umbrella grass is important because if I do get too much ammonia, more than the bacteria can eat, or or you know something like that, then the the umbrella grass will stabilize that for me, and I won't have to worry about testing it constantly because of the the umbrella grass will stabilize it for me. But the reason I'm trying this is what if the situation came that you didn't have fish? I know aquaponics is the best way to grow by far anyway. You know, back to eating all that blows it away. But it's the system, you know, they take time to build and set up and stabilize and once they're stable then you just grow anything. But it takes time. So, but what if you didn't have to have the fish? What if you just had to use urine? I mean, urine is sterile. I know it sounds disgusting, but it is sterile. Last night on the movie, uh, this guy was walking through the desert. He was thirsting to death, and he drank some of his own urine. I was like, oh, man, that's nasty. But it came down to it. Wouldn't you do the same thing? I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I also have cilantro planted in in this, uh, in this the dirt uh, with this uh, red kale. I, I love cilantro. It's a small plant. It can grow in, in groups in small areas. And y'all know how I love my salsa. 
<laughs> I love my salsa. I love my homemade salsa, that is. But anyway, this is just the next step in our experimenting. I'm doing it for you, so you don't got to do it yourself. Well, you should do it yourself. Uh, but you can see everybody's healthy, happy, and doing quite well living in peace. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and you weren't too grossed out. Honey, Obe, Ocha means a loving Hebrew. Later, guys. For you, Lord, I'll go for three